Hello, welcome. Hello to people. And one thumbs up already. Thank you very much. <laughs> I have a mess on my area. <laughs> How are you? Two thumbs ups. Is Hi, stamp girl. Oh, gosh. That's going to be our next three days. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Starting in Wednesday afternoon. So, I'm trying to get yard work done like an hour each morning. Like between 6 30 and 8 in the morning <laughs> and I did today but tomorrow I'm going to take a walk with my daughter at a trail at 6 30 or 7 in the morning uh, will you be safe if it comes through you know be safe hi Nix hi Philomena welcome are you ready for the beautiful forever greenery set is it on your list? It should be. <laughs> okay. Well, you can see I have a mess here. I'm just going to quickly show you this um, set again. What comes in it because I can't show you the page in the catalog. But if you have your catalog, it's on pages 108 to 110. So you can... Um, play along and it has this stamp which is a distinctive stamp by the way and it does it stamps beautifully you can see on some of these um, it's a cling um, rubber stamp some of these are stamped off I forget this is in shaded spruce full strength and stamped off and these are in pretty peacock so pretty and then the dies um have cut out all these images and these they're two different directions so they are directional um and then there are some that are over and above and i did well i, I die cut all of them but i didn't use them all so yep i put them on magnet sheets and there's four of these little things I didn't use those tonight, but I did die cut some. Hi, Donna. Hi, Brandy. Yay. The crew, the crew is here. Awesome. By the way, guys, I don't know if any of you are praying swords. Well, I know some of you are, but um, I texted Grace this morning just to let her ask her how she was doing any better she didn't tell me whether she was still in the hospital or not but she said she was feeling worse and the last time I talked to her um she said she had that they found she had pneumonia but then she said a day later that they were finding other things that were wrong with her but she didn't elaborate so I don't know hi Trudy welcome it's a gorgeous set so we're reusing that stamp set, the dies, this um, embossing folder, and I might as well just tell you right now, the die cut and emboss machine and mini machine will not be available tomorrow. We don't know when it'll be available, sometime in the next few months, hopefully. <laughs> um, and apparently we'll get to pre-order it. Um, but I, you can use these in your whatever machine you have now. I use this. These are not 3D, these little ones. Well, at least this one is not. Um, and But they work beautifully in my big kick. So we're going to use this one tonight, which looks sort of like that. And um, I have to use the other one too, but I just haven't gotten to it. We've got all these inks. Well, we're going to use the gold foil... Um, we're going to use gold foil sheets, but we're also going to use the, and this is part of this suite, Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. It's laser cut pieces, and I punched a whole sheet out, and these are what I have left out of that sheet, plus I took two off um, another sheet, and these are white on the back, so you could flip them over but I don't know why you'd want to because they're gorgeous <laughs> I guess if you wanted to color them some other color or something but I wouldn't I yeah anyway 
let me move these out of the way because all the stamps I have out um, I, that, that I need tonight. And then the colors, well, and on one card, we're going to bring in one, whoops, one piece of paper from the In Good Taste, which will be this wood. That'll be on the first card. Now, next, hi, Justine. Welcome. Wow, we're getting a crowd. Um, so this is from the In Good Taste designer series paper from the Tasteful something or other. Uh, that suite will be next Tuesday night. Okay, guys. And then I'm going to use, but I wanted to use that wood green tonight. And I'm going to use one stamp sentiment, the happy birthday, out of this Blossoms in Bloom on one card. And then the gorgeous papers, of course. And we're using this one. And I don't know if you guys remember, but when I first opened this and I saw this, oops, sorry, this paper, I said, oh, that kind of looks like a Christmas tree to me. Well, I fussy cut one of them out. <laughs> and that's going to be on our first card. Yeah, we missed you. We missed you, too. Always nice to have you here. Uh, I hope your hubby made out okay. I was on Judy's thing the other night, but it kept spooling on me. Um, we're using this one and this one. And we're going to be using this one, but not the other side. And we're going to be using this one. I think not the other side. And then I think that's most of them. So anyway, I'll show you as we go. So there's loads of colors in here. There's soft sea foam, garden green, pear pizzazz, pretty peacock, shaded spruce, and also the brand new Just Jade that's um, available tomorrow, but I don't have that stamp pad, so I couldn't use that this evening. But let me get these out of the way, but we are going to use Just Jade on the, I think, the second card. So before we get into that, just a couple things. Um, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern, is the annual catalog kickoff. I'm going to a celebration. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough. Um, I will also be announcing Judy Evans Parker's host code to use. I'm going to set that up just before, like an hour before that and email it to her so if she wants to do something maybe two hours before that i don't know depends on what time i get home from my walk tomorrow <laughs> morning um so i have a couple little things i can give away nothing from the new catalog probably but like unused unopened um bling and stuff like that so i'll give a couple giveaways um and i will mail them soon i actually am planning on Thursday afternoon, that's going to be my time to get all my packages ready. Uh, except that, except for Grace's party thank yous, because I don't have her party back yet uh, to add in some extra little goodies for that. Um, that'll go out probably next week, late next week sometime, because I it, they did ship it finally. Well, not finally. They shipped it on June 1st, so I, I'll have it probably next week. I do have the new catalog, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of it. Okay, that's good. These okay. Um, I'm going to do a walkthrough at 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. tomorrow morning. So, and people got it that had ordered from January through, oh, I forget, May, I guess it was. Um, Justine, if you want one, I will send you one. Um you were nice enough to have a party for me. I should have just done that. In fact, there's a couple um, people that hadn't purchased during that time that I, I want to send a catalog to. And one person requested that I never heard of before. So I don't know. But anyway, I do have a couple extras here. So I'll send one to you. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for joining us, everybody. So we're just going through some details. So tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., the annual catalog kickoff, I'll do a walkthrough. I'll give you some tips about the catalog and how I use certain sections of it. Um, also, if you 
are interested at all in joining Stampin' Up, June is a wonderful time because not only do you get $125 worth of product for $99 plus tax, shipping's included, but from June 3rd to June 30th, I should have it, only, you can select a free bundle, meaning not a sweet bundle, but a bundle like a stamp and punch or stamp and die. They call it stamp and tool. Um, well, right now, just uh, Justine, um, let's we can talk. I'll, I'll uh, email you maybe tomorrow or sometime. <laughs> Oh, gosh. But Judy Evans Parker's having a party starting tomorrow for the month of June. Okay. And um, Donna's having a party in August because August is when the holiday catalog uh, takes effect. But we could have two parties going at the same time. I'm okay with that <laughs> as long as you guys are. Um, and we can have as many as you want, actually. And I'm also trying to develop some classes. I keep saying that, but I... I really am. I'm, I'm getting there. I might actually do a class with this bundle at some point, but I don't know because I've been seeing so many people with it. So anyway, if you'd like to join, great time to do it because you get a free bundle in addition to your $125 worth of product for $99. Now, another thing I have to tell you about is Stampin' Up! is having an annual catalog kickoff celebration. And what that means, and it's from 3 to 30 June also. Um, so for every order, $250 or more, in addition to the normal Stampin' Rewards you would get, which would be, like in every catalog, they have this little chart on the host page. So two fifties at the 10%, so it would be $25 worth of free product. For every $250 order placed, you get an additional $25 in Stampin' Rewards. So for a $250 order, that's $50 in free product. It's wonderful. Thank you, Justine. Thank you for that. Both things. Um, so... It's a great deal. If you are thinking of a big order, now the only thing is you can't put it on Judy's party if you want those rewards for yourself. Um, and, and she's okay with that. I talked to her a little bit about that. And um, yeah, normally you would get 10% at the 250 to, you know, 150 to 300 level, you'd get 10%. So like a $300 party, you would get $30 plus an extra 25 or 55. Hi, Clay. Welcome. So it's a, it's a good deal. Um, now, if you're thinking of placing an order bigger than that, you might want to consider whether you want to do one big party and only get a one-time $25 award, or if you have enough for $500, which most people don't. But um, if you did, you might want to consider breaking it into two $250 orders. Now, the only problem with that is you won't get that 50% off item, which you would get at the $450 to $600 level, okay? So if that's confusing, I'll explain it again tomorrow, hopefully a little better. But um, And normally when you're ordering, I do try and tell you don't use a host code, whether it's you know somebody's party or my normal monthly host code, if your party is going to be $150 or more because that way you get the free product, okay? But if it's under 150, then by all means, use Judy's host code for the month of June starting tomorrow. And I'll give you the host code tomorrow and I'll have it on my videos and on my um, Dev House Crafty Cottage Facebook group and Facebook page for, for the business and also on my blog. So it will be everywhere <laughs> for the month of June. OK, so that's that one. And also. Um, the paper pumpkin for June, you have until June 10th to sign up. If you prepay for paper pumpkin for, you know, three, six or 12 months, 
you can use a host code. I wouldn't for 12 because I think that's over 150. So three or six months prepay um, that you can use a host code for, but the regular month to month, you can't because it, it goes directly into paper pumpkin where the prepays go on stamping up and they send you a code and then you give that to paper pumpkin. So if you do a prepay paper pumpkin to subscribe to that for three or six months, then you can put it on a party host code as well. Okay, just wanted to remind of that. Here's the cover of the new catalog. I can't open it till tomorrow. And we also have a new beginner's brochure. Here's the cover and I can't open it till tomorrow. There's some really cute things. Hi, Jen. In uh, this catalog, I probably say this every time, but this catalog I think is my favorite so far. <laughs> I don't know. The mini catalog was really nice too. Okay, so that's I think all my announcements. Um oh one more thing. I even hate to bring this up, but um one of my friends here on YouTube and a customer um reported to me that she was on Alley and found a lot of Stampin' Up! copyright infringements on Alley. And um, Stampin' Up! has, um, I, I don't shop overseas directly anymore. I, I know that a lot of people do because they want cheap. But you have to understand that that is stealing, that is stealing and it's stealing money and potentially jobs from people here in the United States when they do that. Because um, first of all, the stamps are manufactured in the United States and there was not just dyes, but there were stamps. And I, she, she did take screenshots and she did send it to me and I forwarded it on to Stampin' Up. They have a special email for copyright infringement. So if you come across anything Please let me know and I'll report it to Stampin' Up. They, unfortunately, they have to spend a lot of money trying to fight this, as do all the other companies in the United States that, you know, we're all familiar with um, that have their own stamp and die kind of things. So there's a lot of money going into that and that raises the prices here in the States. So bad for all of us. Okay. Let's get busy. We have a lot of cards to make tonight. Okay. So the first one is a combination of forever greenery. And like I said, I brought in that wood grain paper from the um, In Good Taste designer series paper, which is a different suite in the catalog. I am using a gold element, but we're going to change it up a little bit for the card we're going to do. We are going to use the wood grain. And I brought in gold foil. Now what I do to save on my foil is I die cut the center out. <laughs> so I have two stitched rectangles in gold, which I can use for a future project. I didn't happen to need them for tonight's projects. I just wasn't feeling them on the other cards. This is Thick Whisper White. Thank you. Very easy card. Um, except I can't get stuff on straight and we're just going to glue that together. But what we're going to do for this one, this is for the inside is we're going to put this little, I think it's a three and a quarter inch. Let me measure it for you. Square <laughs> three, three inch square. And we're going to put it like a diamond here. And then I have this other gold piece. I'm not going to fussy. This is the one I fussy cut out that I thought looked like a Christmas tree, sort of. But, but it's actually a fern. And then there was this fern in the gold foil punch outs that are they're just beautiful. So I just layered them together on the wood grain with the gold backing. And this stamps out of the Forever Fern stamp set. Um, in this card, I used foam tape which Stampin' Up's going to have foam tape again. Yay. Or foam sheets, I think it is. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I saw high left ham. I'm like, huh? <laughs> 
That was funny. Um, and then I also did bump up the sentiment on dimensionals. Oops. But for this one, we're going to maybe not bump up the base. Um, and maybe not bump up, up this. But then I brought in the... What is this thing called? Lovely Labels um, Punch, the double punch that looks like this so I don't glare you out of. And I'm using the sort of flatter one and on a piece of gold foil, which is three quarter inches and a half inch strip. Now, this is where I'm going to bring in the happy birthday as well because... The You Can Do This Out of Forever Fern was a little bit too big for a half inch. And I already had cut the, the gold in the three quarter inch. And you see how they fit right on there together very nicely. But we had to stamp first. Okay. So now the thing with this punch is it works really well. But you do have to have your paper sized pretty precisely like half inch three quarter or one inch on either side either design for it to work well otherwise it gets a little off on the top design so that's a little tip for you okay so let's put this together and that's back of the in good taste paper it's that um I think it's Rococo Rose. It looks like paint, oil paint or something. I have to do this to my card. Okay, so this way, Deb. Get my glue, brand new bottle of glue. Now, for some things, I will use that other glue. I'm just going to go around the edges because... And not too close to the edge because I don't want it to squirt out on all over the edge of the foil. And that even might be a little too close. Oops. I just said only on the edge. <laughs> and I'm going to bring in my little silicone mat just in case. Ugh. Sorry, that's my daughter again. We're confirming our walk time for tomorrow morning at 7, it looks like. Yay. 6.30 is a, a wee bit early to drive somewhere to go walk. <laughs> I probably have to leave at 6, 6.30, actually. We're close to it. And I got that a little bit off, which is a nice thing about using the glue. You can move it just a little bit. Okay. And I got it a little sloppy, which is not good. Anyway, uh, bear with me. Now we can glue all of this. And the reason I bumped it up the first time is because I do have that rectangle out. But I don't want to mess with that horrible foam tape I'm still trying to get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just going to glue it down this time. Because we're going to bump the sentiment up anyway. So. Okay. Now. I think what I'll do. We could do this one of two ways. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just use that other glue. You all doing okay? Amidst all this chaos going on lately. Crazy times, huh? Don't want to get into political statements tonight. I just really don't. I feel bad for everybody, but I'm just going to say, no matter which side or whatever, violence is not the key. Not the right way. Ugh. Okay. This is a really fine fern out of the gold um, specialty designer series paper. We're putting this on at an angle. <laughs> Hang on, I have to tell my daughter, okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, we do have a life, don't we? So I think we will just glue this down like that. Or maybe, let me see. Yeah, about like that. I'll try and 
remember that I want to put it even with the top even like that and how this came to me is I had a slightly bigger square of whisper white and I thought hmm maybe I should just twist that a little bit and plus I didn't want I didn't want to tear out another gold sheet and get another one of those. And I ran out of time for fussy cutting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Left ham. <laughs> Left or right ham. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think you ate pork anymore. Anyway, I remember that. All right. Now we have to stamp. This might be a little tricky. And if I don't get it straight, I have a backup plan. Let me um, put this pin in this glue first. So this card is actually really pretty easy. This one's a little more time consuming because you can't even see that. Because um, you have to fussy cut this out of the paper. This just punches right out. These are all just, you know, punch and go. All right, I'm going to actually use, let's see, I use shaded spruce on that one, but I think I'll use early espresso for this one. I don't live out in the middle of nowhere, but I live, well, it might have been at one time, but um, I don't live in a town or a city. But I live five minutes from a town and 30 minutes from a city. All right. So uh, what I did is I just punched out one end. And I can actually show you. Um, well, let me, let me go ahead and stamp this first. Hopefully I'll get it straight. You want to hear something funny? You know, I'm in my 60s, right? I actually have pigtails in today. <laughs> I haven't worn pigtails in like, oh my gosh, I can't remember. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. <laughs> yeah, sort of half gray pigtails. <laughs> oh my. Have to laugh, right? Look, guys, I got it pretty straight. All right, I have another one here, and I'll show you how to use the punch. I should have done that. Sorry about that. Mm, the punch is not part of the suite. It's part of the many... Um, I don't remember. Lovely something. But it's Lovely Labels is the name of the punch. And it comes in a bundle. So I'm using this flat one over here. And this is, like I said, a half inch. And actually, this piece is slightly bigger. So I'll have to finagle it. I always turn mine upside down. And you just pretty much stick it in there and go like that. And there you go. So, yeah. Now we could do the other side too. Let's try that. I think I did these for you before, but oops, that's not the other side. So, see how this one goes. This one's a little fancier. And there you go. So you have the little bumpy one or the little flattish one. And that's the half inch um, piece. And but I did the same on the three quarter inch with the flat, <clears throat> the flat end as well. So we're going to glue this down and then we'll bump it up. And I'm going to use the other glue to glue this down. Yeah, it is. You know, I wasn't too sure about it at first. You know what? This looks like it's cut just slightly crooked to me. Oops. Wrong scissors. Should have brought out my little trimmer. I probably made it crooked or more crooked. <laughs> and before you know it, it'll be down to nothing. I think that's good enough. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bump that right up against the edge there actually i'll slide it down just a little bit and then i'll even it out and up a little bit so there that works pretty good okay 
all that fuss in for nothing. I had to cut it anyway. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to bump this up on dimensionals. Put it over to the left here of that and bring it up a little bit so the point shows, but not the bottom of the leaf. I like that. I hope you like it too. You're trying not to need this punch. <laughs> It's good for labels and it goes well with what am I using? Blooms and blossoms, blossoms and bloom, which is one of the things I'm considering. I'll show you in a minute what I'm considering or still thinking. I'm thinking I'm doing a class on um, two bundles together and that doesn't look straight. That looks straight. Now, I think this needs a little something, something. I'm going to bring in the Gilded Gems. These are, actually on this one, I used the metallic pearls in the gold. That's all I have left of them. But I think I'm going to use these Gilded Gems. Now, these are not in this suite. They're in the Ornate Garden Suite. And I think these are on back order. So, mm, you can still order them, and they'll go towards your order total but you won't be able to get them right away okay let's see what we want to do here i think let's put a bigger one over there we'll put a little one up here and maybe a big one this is the take your pick tool by the way if you're not familiar put the big one right there and then a mediumish one oops come on buddy <laughs> He didn't want to play. Let's see where I want him. Do I want him here? Or down here? Or in here? How about right there? Okay. There we go. Those are called the Gilded Gems. I really, really like those. Really, really a lot. Like I want to get a couple more. Because <laughs> I'm going to be using them all the time. And I need a refill on my metallic pearls. They, that metallic pearls come with a little sheet of gold and a sheet of silver. I don't have the silver ones out tonight. Now for the inside on this one, all I did was whisper white on the wood grain. So we're just going to glue them together and put them in. And that's it. So there's two different ideas for using two um, DSPs. The gold fancy specialty the for on this one also the forever um greenery designer series paper and on this one just the gold foil and the um both of them the in good taste designer series paper or any wood grain you have and i just got glue on there and i would suggest my upline calls this a booger eraser or something <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh, I never heard that called that before. But it kind of does look like that. And then you have to peel these gummy gooey boogers off, right? <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Hi, Marcia. I don't remember if I saw, saw you earlier. So I'm just going to glue this in and then card one will be done. But we have like four or five or... Maybe even six cards tonight. I was on a roll today. Actually, only this afternoon, too, because, like I said, I'm trying to pull weeds in the morning, and I did, and then I had to clean up, and then I had to do dishes, and, you know, all that stuff. So there's our card number 1A and 1B. <laughs> Whoops. You guys didn't yell at me. I'm up too high. Let me slide this down. There we go. Okay, so let's move on to the second card. This time we're going with Just Jade. And it, another pretty easy card. But we're using this designer series paper, which is Just Jade and Soft Sea Foam. This is what's on the other side, which is pretty too. But we're using this side. And then we're going to use the embossing folder. Now, I've already done it. And what I had was I had this small piece of 
soft sea foam. Uh, let me tell you what that one. I just cut it in half. So it was four and a quarter. So this is two and one eighth by doo, 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 three. Two and one eighth high by three. And then I cut a couple of these little uh, rectangles because, you know, if I don't stamp straight. Um, and they're one and three quarter high by two and a half. And that's going to go on, right on there. And then under it, of course, looks like I did a lot of work cutting out gold stuff. But it's another one of those punch outs. And I'm getting... It actually has some funny stuff on it. We're going to cover most of that up anyway. So let's get our stamp. And what we're going to do, I do not have the Just Jade ink yet. So we are going to use Shaded Spruce. And we're going to stamp off. And that gets pretty close to Just Jade. It's not exact. It's still a little darker. But... Um, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. I can, I'm anxious tomorrow to get the in color inks. Oh, that reminds me. The ink pads and the new in color ink refills in particular, they are probably going to be limiting to one per person or one per order. Yeah, right, Marsha. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I think it's pretty. All right, so this says, To a friend that makes me smile, like all of you, you're making me smile. I'm just stamping it off and hoping I sort of get it on straight and in the middle. Did I pick the wrong color? No, that's pretty close, right? That looks different. That's because I picked garden green. See? How silly. That does not look like Just Jade. Let me get the right shaded spruce. <laughs> Good thing I brought some more of these little rectangles out. I'll save that and use it for something else. Ay, yay, yay. Off to a great start. This is shaded spruce. <laughs> what, the eraser, Jen? I'm not sure what you're talking about. All right, let me clean this so I'm not um, getting it dirty. I cleaned my chamois before the show, even though it still doesn't look like it, but you know. All right, this is shaded spruce that I'm stamping off. Of course, that one I get crooked. Oh, yeah, yeah, the other one was pretty good. We'll try. That's better. That's better. I'm happy. Okay. So Shaded Spruce stamped off once. Looks pretty close to Just Jade. If you can't get the Just Jade right away or whatever. Um, now, I did bring out Just Jade cardstock because I do have that. And that will be available tomorrow. Um, I have a feeling the ribbons in the in colors are going to go on back order if they're two of them are already. But you can still, like I said, you can still order them. You know, well, that's the first one. That was my, when I first got that fern paper, I said, that looks like a Christmas tree. And I was going to originally just have it. And then I was punching these out. And I'm like, no, I have to layer those. But it could still be Christmassy, but I made it a generic card, which would be okay for a guy too, right? You can do this, and this one could be either, but more masculine though. Happy birthday. Okay, so let's glue this down. This is just pretty easy. Pretty easy. Oh my goodness. This is pretty too, but it's more... Just Jade and Pretty Peacock, I guess. But that's not our card. All right. Start in the middle so it doesn't blob. I learned that from watching some other demonstrator a while back. Don't even know who it was anymore. Ugh. 
It's been a pretty busy week this week for me, but a good one. Not bad, other than the news and everything happening with that, which I just can't even deal with right, right now. All right, so that's going to go right on there. And yes, it's smudged, but it's going to be mostly buried there anyway. The backs of these, if you try and turn them over and stamp on them, they're a little bit um, shiny. So I think you'd have to use like a stays on or something because, or you'd have to heat set whatever you put on there because it is a shiny surface. So it's, it's not going to take it. The ink won't dry as fast as what I'm trying to say. And it could smear. <laughs> Snoopy. Hi, Jeanette. Jeanette. Wait. How do you say your name? G J at J at G at I'm not sure. Let me know how you pronounce that. Did I miss anybody else? I think I got everybody. Okay, so that's the one of the pieces that were punched out, and this is our whatever I said earlier, and I'll have it on my blog. Three, I think, by two and something. So it covers up the whole gold thing, but you have all those sprays sticking out. And that will be bumped up. So we're going to glue this down. And this is with that embossing folder, which I love. Um, and if you have your catalog, there are several of these minis. There's another one called Meadow something. That's on my one in my next order of thing and this this one here is real pretty too i just um didn't get to use it yet so many things to do all right let me get sure make sure i get the right side yep that looks like the straight one <laughs> so we're just gonna put that down and this is soft sea foam cardstock that i'm that i did the embossing on by the way um, which matches the background pattern in the Just Jade and Soft Sea Foam. I think I got that on Crooked. Pulling it up just slightly. I think that's better. Maybe. Maybe not. I think it's okay. <laughs> Let me bring dimensionals over. If I can find my dimensionals. Mm, here they are. I'm out already. Okay. Yep, the gold pieces and there's um I and I have they have other ones in that are like whole card front laser cuts. I didn't get to use those tonight. So, you just have to stick with me and you know, I'll do more. But it seems like Every demonstrator out there is using this suite right now. So it's very popular. And I can see why. And if you love green, it's like the suite for you. Because it's got just about every color green in it. Except Granny Apple Green. And it doesn't have Old Olive and Mossy Meadow for a change. Most of the time, the papers we get do. But this has all those ones I showed you. Shaded Spruce. Just Jade, the newest one. All right, is that straight? Oh, it's straight. It's straight, guys. It's straight. And we're going to use the Gilded Gems again. Mm, nope, that's not the right one. Oops. I have two Take Your Pick tools, and I'm getting them confused all the time now. All right, so we're just going to take a big one. I think I recommend using the pointy thing or the spatula to get these off, though. They're a little hard to just... The little one works pretty good, but... Um, to get it off with the putty end, but the, um, the big one is a little tough. That one has a cat hair with it. Callie was my office assistant, studio assistant, earlier today, twice... She's not here now. Now she's my son's assistant. <laughs> uh, she alternates between us. Thank you, Philomena. Um, 
uh, isn't it though? I don't know what that was about. Okay, so that's the outside. And then on the inside, I think I just, oh, we did a little stamping. Woohoo! All right, we just did one of these ferny looking or leafy looking things in soft sea foam. So, reaching in front of me to get my ink. And look, I had three little rectangles ready, and I only needed one extra one. Woohoo. Not bad. <laughs> now I need my scrap paper because um, this is a sort of a big piece, and I'm going to kind of go off the corner here. But I'm going to go full strength because soft sea foam is pretty light to begin with. And... I actually went up higher on the other one, but I'm just going to leave it at that, I think, for this particular one. Okay. Get rid of that messy paper. Wipe my stamp off. And I have all my blocks used up pretty much here tonight. <laughs> just, I spent, I took, um, a day or two, no, it wasn't a day or two, Deb, like a half a day, and I did nothing but put the cling stickers on my cling stamps for the new catalog, and a couple of the old ones. I still have some of the ones that are carrying over that aren't all done, but I did the whole stamp set because sometimes I don't do that, and then I never get around to using those other stamps. Oh, good for you, Clay. Wish I'd get orders. I wouldn't get orders if I don't post anything, though, huh? Yeah, you have to get your schoolwork done. Thank you, Paige. Okay, so that is card number two. So we're on a roll. It's quarter of eight. All right, next card. We're going to change it a little bit, but this is the card. This one's on Pear Pizzazz. Uh, whisper white with that same embossing and then this is actually garden green with pear pizzazz I think or it might be soft sea foam we're going to use soft sea foam and <laughs> part of what I did here is maybe not on the just jade but I used card bases I already had made up so this one was already made so we're switching to soft sea foam and what I did is I stamped um, a background and I used this little thing here and I think I use like this leaf here but maybe we'll use a combination of that leaf and this one this time and then I kind of just tilted them you know we've seen that done before and I just used a strip of whisper white going across here although we could use a ribbon and this is a two inch circle punch and I use that same to a friend that makes me smile I like that's my favorite sentiment out of this set there's also a hello and a something else um there's also a love and laughter forever after. Oh, the you can do this. We saw that on the first card right here, right there. And I didn't use tonight the love and laughter forever after. To me, none of these cards look like, you know, wedding or something cards. But um, we might use the hello on the very last card if we get to it. We'll see. I think we will. Okay, so I've already cut these, and these are the same size, and I've run the white one through the embossing folder, and they are three inches wide by four and a quarter. Three inches wide by four and a quarter. And this looks like it has a streak of um, maybe, um, what is that one? Pretty pretty peacock in it, but it's sort of faded. It's like an ombre almost. Anyway, we'll be doing that after we stamp on the background. And then 
I had die cut, I stamped and die cut. These two I stamped and die cut, or three. And this one I is just that one of those extra dies I did in soft sea foam, which pops nicely against this garden green. And um, I think it's soft sea foam actually. I already have a strip. This is half inch by four and a quarter. And then I have this to stamp our sentiment on and use with the circle. And then this is for the inside. And on the inside, I just stamped off and um, put that larger plant in the middle. Okay, so let's get this going here. Yeah, I got the In Good Taste one. as Well, I didn't get the whole suite of the In Good Taste. I did get this one. <laughs> um yeah they were they were flowing pretty good um once i did this one i had to get this out of my system and use this wood grain because that that you know was one of my ahas when i was opening the paper <laughs> way back when so once i got that done then i was like yeah and i thought well, i hope these aren't too boring but anyway okay let me what i do is with those pete there they are okay bring in my thing again because we're going to stamp off now i had to figure out what colors i want to use because this was on pear pizzazz and i used pear pizzazz and pretty peacock and i think i'll still use pretty peacock but i might stamp off with this little thing um but i think i'm going to use soft sea foam and keep it tone on tone for the the big leaves anyway. So let's do them first. Let's see, I'll just go like this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this one better, actually. Cause I think I thought this was hair pizzazz in here for the first one, but I think it looks more like soft sea foam. I don't know. I'm old. My eyes are playing games on me. <laughs> Thank you, Nix. Thank you, Jen. So, if, what's everybody want first from the catalog? Just name one thing that you want the very most. One thing I want the very, very most I can't get yet. <laughs> I'm not even stamping this off, but you know, soft sea foam is a light color, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. I think I want this one to turn a little bit somehow. Yeah. And then one more. Maybe we'll just go. No, I think I'm going to put the stem up this way. Okay. That's all I'm going to put for that one. And maybe, oops. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Hope you don't mind. I have my covered mug. I shouldn't be drinking coffee at this time because it's not decaf, but I am. I wanted it. I can't, can't deny it. I'm going to go with garden green for the little dots instead of pretty peacock because the background paper is garden green. So we're going to try it. I might stamp off on that. Yeah. yeah. I like doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> do you guys like to do this? Okay. So what do we say? Flowers. Yeah. The whole, yeah, that's a pretty sweet. I like that too. Hmm. All the in colors. Yep. I have to get the ink pads. I really like to get the um, refills. Okay, so here's the thing on the refills. They're going to limit, you know, to one per order, which most people, I think, would only get one anyway. They still may go on back order um, because what happened is their manufacturer here in the States, actually, that makes the plastic bottles for the ink refills, is um prioritizing making medical stuff so i'm thinking it must be like those plastic face shields or something 
you know, like the healthcare workers are, I have to squish this off because I have a, I have to wipe it off. I have a line coming and I noticed it on this one. Some of that will be covered up luckily. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, yeah, look, I just got more. See? You don't want to do that. I know um, Dina used to cut the edges off hers, but I don't like doing that. You just have to push straight instead of crooked like I do sometimes. And one, one here. I think I'm going to bring in that other little leaf too. And there's going to be some overlap, and that's okay. <laughs> this is creative... I don't know what. It's Deb trying to be creative. <laughs> and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. That'll be covered up too, mostly. And you know what? I think that's all I'm going to do with that. Actually, I just wanted more there and there to be filled in. Okay. Well, they do have tear and tape. I like red line tape. However, I hate those red things because they stick to me all the time, right? But the, um, tomorrow in the walkthrough, I will go over the new adhesives and what they're supposed to be used for. I have an adhesive chart that if anybody's interested, Stampin' Up! has it on their demo website. And I printed it off today so that I can go over with you guys. Okay. That looks kind of pretty. Now this, we're actually going to take this sponge. And I only used it for, I'm going to just lightly go over it with um, soft, soft sea foam. Because it's a little bit too bright for me. I'm going to just, and this is just a one-sixth of one of their sponges that you can get. I just cut them like a pie. And some people put clips on them and stuff. I don't bother. I just hold them in my fingers. Oh, so guys, today is June 2nd. If there was anything you wanted... Last chance products. Tonight's the last night you can get them unless they end up putting them in clearance, but there's no guarantee they'll do that. So if there was anything in last chance products, now is the time. I like that one a lot better, don't you? <laughs> can you see them? Oh, yeah. Well, wait till you see my catalog. I'm going to use mine. I'm not going to use a clean one. So you'll see on my post-its still. And you'll see how I color code everything. <laughs> it's pretty bizarre. All right. We're going to go ahead and glue these down. I'm using wet glue on this. You could use tear and tape. You could use, I would not recommend the old snail. I probably would not recommend the new uh, stamp and seal is what the new snail replacement is called only apparently stronger this one goes this way all that stamping and i'm covering it up now oh. <laughs> yeah i like the lighter green with it better too and then this one i actually what i do is i line the corner up and then just twist it the opposite direction Really easy. They're both the same size. Now, before we add anything else, I'm just doing all kind of foolishness to this tonight. And I always forget this. And it's really not good for your marker. So if you're not okay with that, don't do this. This could harm your marker. And I'm going to bring in that other sheet of paper again. Let me turn it over now. And we're just going to flick and we'll hopefully get a few little specks on here. I really want them mostly on that white. Yeah, you can't really see them too good. I'm going to do a couple more. There we go. 
a little bit of the garden green stamp and write marker see what it does though can you see the lid Eesh. i probably should let me get something to just wipe that out a little bit there we go so you can damage your tip but that is from the many marvelous markers or you can get them in color family i think um a whole set for the color family but this is a garden green which is in the regals okay now <laughs> now we have a strip to put on here somewhere i don't know what i do with it here it is actually now we have these things so did you see what that did it just added those speckles of green on i know Paige has done something like that before and it, it did get it over the background, and I'm okay with that. And on here, but it hardly shows up on here. But I just wanted it on the white. Okay, so now we have to figure out our placement of this. And I just put it over that, so that it's over that corner. And that's going to go up on dimensionals. But first, I want to figure out our placement of these. And this one was sort of tucked under here. And I have another one I thought. What row? Right up here it is. It fell down behind my um, stay, I say, stay. All right. So they had to slide down a little bit because I just want their stems to be under that white thing. And we'll just make them go out like that a little bit. Something like that. Actually, I might not do that all yet until we stamp our sentiment to a friend that makes me smile. I love that. I'm going to do that in garden green. And we're just going to use the uh, two inch circle punch, which is carrying over. And it doesn't matter if it's a little crooked because it's going to be on a circle punch. What does matter, um, that squeaky noise, by the way, is my chamois. I actually cleaned my chamois pretty well today. So this is the two inch circle punch, which is number 133782. If you don't already have one, they are fabulous for doing stuff like this. I didn't really stamp it right in the middle, but it's okay. We'll make do. So that will go here. So I want to make sure this goes up a little higher. Ooh, here. And how I did this is I wanted it like up a little bit, not all the way down to the, not, um, not centered over the white strip because I want it not to hang off the bottom of the card. So I put dimensionals only like here and then I glued it onto the white strip. Um, but the white strip is bumped up too. So it's going to be a little tricky to get these placed right. Actually, that's pretty good right there. All right, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to try and hold them down. <laughs> And lift them up and put some wet glue on to tack them. Because I want the placement to be about where they are now. And this just needs a little dab on some of these petals. I hope you're seeing this. I'll look up in a minute, guys. And if there's a better way to do that, I'm all ears. <laughs> Let me get this stem down. And you can use the fine tip glue if you prefer. You know. All right, let me bring this back. Bring this back. I'm just going to go up about like that. And this will go right about there. So. Let 
Nope, yep, I'll have to do it again. Okay. Do it again. There we go. All right, so let's get this up on dimensionals and then the circle. Okay, let me see. Little sticky note on the pages. Yeah. <laughs> I might. There's a couple bundles that are really, they're not in sweets that are really um, on my want list but some of them didn't make it to my have to have it in my very next order list because I can't afford to but anyway but they're marked get they're marked where they get on them um so I'll give you some pointers about the catalog tomorrow you may already know all this stuff but hopefully you'll learn something new and we'll have fun besides. Okay, now on this one, like I said, so what I did is I kind of put my finger here. Oops, I just pulled off a backing to another one. I'm going to put three dimensionals on at the top. I'm not sure which one I pulled that off of. And then we'll put some glue just under those bottom dimensionals going across. And that'll go on that white strip, hopefully. Just a little strip of glue. Oops. Now you could put a dimensional on the bottom too, but I don't feel like it really, really needs it. All right, now, um, I didn't tell you this, but if you have the Toile Tidings, you could use these Garden Green, but I'm not going to because I can't sell them to you anymore. <laughs> so we're going to use the, what are these called? Um, Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And I had colored them, but you can't really see it, so I'm not going to bother. Um, I had colored them with dark, soft sea foam. They didn't really show up on there, so I'm just going to use them as they are, and it'll be fine. And these are in the annual catalog now. They're carrying over. Thank goodness, because you can color these whatever color you have in alcohol markers which we may do for the next one. Let's see, where do I want this? Um, I put it on here last time, but I think I'm gonna put it right up here. Okay. And then we have to put something on the inside. Well, that's right. We just use this again in soft sea foam. Hi, Judy. Oh no, I'm sorry. Ugh. And it's scary for them, and there's not much we can do other than talk to them because we can't go visit. I called my mom's place, um, today's Tuesday, yesterday morning, and said, can I at least send her a box with some stuff in it because she's been bugging me for some stuff? And they said, no, we don't want any thing coming in here that doesn't absolutely have to be and I said well she's running low on this that and the other thing and they did have some of those things and took them to her but of course not everything that she wants but and then she's telling me buy oh now this one was a vertical card that opened like this because that's what I already had cut but this one is a regular A2 card it works either way. I really like this card, actually. <laughs> uh, just me, but, you know. And you could layer it with some of the designer paper under it if you want to, but I'm not going to do that for this one. 
So this is card three. And since you were not here, Judy, this is card three, but done two different ways. Well, two different papers. This was on pear pizzazz. And this one's on soft sea foam. And then the second card we did was this one. And this is the, one of the new in colors called Just Jade with soft sea foam run through the new uh, embossing folder called Greenery Embossing Folder, which is a, a double set. Um, yeah, we used, we used the one that goes like that. And then the first card we did, we actually changed up a little bit too. This is the one I made before tonight's live. This was fussy cut out of the paper. And then this is what we did together. We changed a little bit and just used one of the gold pieces from the, I forget what it was called now. It's some kind of specialty designer series paper, but it has the punch outs in the gold. Everything except the wood grain and the gold foil sheets are from this suite so far. Um, and not that happy birthday. That was out of Blossoms in Bloom. And that punch is called the, um, what is it called? Lovely Labels Punch. It's a double punch that does half, three quarter, and one inch wide strip. Sorry. I'm going quickly over that because I've shown it already. And let's do card four. Oh, well, yeah. Mom is feeling that way, too, and she's claustrophobic, so and we're doing all right. We have card four. This is card four. The paper does the work for this one. Most of it, mostly. So when I first got ready to use this, I was all set to use this side. And then I flipped it over. Yes, I did save the gold scraps. And let me show you why. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up. As soon as I find what I did with the package of the papers. Okay, Deb. What, oh, there it is. Um, on one of them, so this is the foil um, Forever Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. And I, I punched all of one sheet out. And one of them is a wreath. And inside the wreath, it has this. But I figure I can get little punches of something or die cuts out of that. And I can maybe cut a strip or two off the edges here. Some of it's actually pretty close. So maybe just get a part of it. But that would be enough to go as a border on the top of a card. And maybe right along here and here. So, and then in here, I figure I can use little flower or die cuts or something. So, yeah, I saved it for sure. <laughs> and you get three sheets of those. Oops, just picked up my paper. Tried to steal my de other designer series paper. Um, I'm not getting tonight to the ones that have the, um, oh, now see. I didn't get it right now. Now it won't go back in. Um, the ones that are laser cut card front pieces. I didn't get to use those tonight. So that'll be another night. <laughs> another day, another night. Some other project. I don't know. Okay. I'm not going to mess with this right now. Putting it aside. Maybe. Okay. Anyway, yes, I save them. All that to say, yes, I save them. Let's see, did we stamp on the inside? We did, okay. So here, this is the only gold piece I'm using, but I am going to introduce something that is already on back order, which is the Ribbon Forever Greenery Trim Ribbon uh, Combo Pack. I do use this one, but it's really soft and I really like it, but it's like a vanilla color and everything on here is white. So I'm gonna use that, I'll figure it out. But and my fingers are all inky. But I did use on this one the gold braided um, thread. 
And all I did was twist it around. Oops. It tucked back up. And um, put it under here. Now these are the stitch nested label dies. They're available already now and they're continuing. And I do have this on Pretty Peacock, even though the only thing in here that's Pretty Peacock, I think, are these dots. These look like succulents to me. And they're in, I think, Garden Green, Pear Pizzazz, Soft Sea Foam. So you've got lots of colors in here to pick from. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is stamp. We have to stamp. We're going to use that same to a friend thing that we used before, but we're going to do it in Pretty Peacock this time. Oh, Brandy, are you leaving? Okay, sorry, Brandy. Bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs> What's for dinner? I am trying, Judy. I am trying. <laughs> okay. So this, I already pre-cut um, the stitched nested label dies. I don't know if you're familiar. They were part of the bird ballad suite in the catalog that's going out. And it was these two, which are the um, um, third and fourth or fourth and fifth largest. They're sort of in the middle range because they're not these itty bitty ones, but they're not the biggest ones. So I used one for the whisper, one in whisper white for the sentiment, which hopefully I'll get sort of right. And one in, you know what? It's going to do. Um, one in pretty peacock. Okay. Oh, wait, I need that out. Um, and these will glue together, but not yet. This is for the inside. We're going to go ahead and stamp that. And what I did on the inside is I just put a little design down in the corner. And again, we're going to use those little dot things. And we're going to use the tip of this soft, in soft sea foam. And I did bring in garden green, but I don't know if I'm liking how I did that. So we might change it up a little bit. And I need soft sea foam, and I'll need garden green. Yeah, what's for dinner? What's for dinner for me is store-bought quiche. I told my son to bake it in the oven, so what he did, he cut a piece off and microwaved it for himself. I'm like, okay, whatever. I shouldn't eat at 9 o'clock at night anyway. Oh, uh, well. What are you going to do? I said it's better if you bake it. It doesn't take that long. It's already pre-cooked. Just putting scrap paper under. And this is soft sea foam. And it's pretty pale, so I'm not going to bother changing that. And then I'm bringing in garden green. And I think I'm going to stamp that off and put one here. And put one up here. Sort of overlaps, but it's okay. And then we we'll use. Oh man, that's my pretty peacock must be too juicy or something. I might have to get a spoon back and fix that because I keep getting it on the edges of this little thing. Don't press so hard. Light touch. There we go. Perfect. And just a few little dots. All right, that's enough. And that's it for that. Cleaning my stamps just a little bit. And putting my ink, closing my ink. Oh, uh, Brandy said it's dinner time. Yeah, sure. Well, she does have a little boy to feed. <laughs> My meal time is kind of messed up, but I'm I don't care. I don't know if I'll even eat dinner tonight. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on the inside of first. This is a vertical pretty peacock card. 
which I really like. Now, Pretty Peacock is in the in colors from 2019 to 20. And the in colors are good for two years. So it now, as of tomorrow, will officially be in its last year, which means its last 11 months. Because this annual catalog, I know, it really is a fun catalog. You have mentioned that. <laughs> I'm excited, too, for you and also for me. I'm looking forward to ordering more tomorrow as well. Hopefully tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. All right, these go this way. They're directional, so be careful with that. This side really wouldn't matter, but that side would. We're, the next card, we're actually going to use that side and try something different. Okay, now this, um, we're going to get a glue dot. Because we're going to put this gold, this is one of the pieces from those fancy things. I love those, you know. <laughs> Some of the other ones we've had, I have never used much, but this one I'm really loving. Can't wait to use more. Um, oops. I'm trying to make sure I get that so that both those ends stick out. And then... How did I do it? I just glued this down on top. So we'll do that. And then we'll bump the whole thing up on dimensionals. I am excited to, I'm like a kid in a candy store, you know, when the catalog first comes out and then I go through it again to see what I want for my second order. And maybe my third order. Oh, one more thing I forgot to tell you guys. The mailing, oops, the mailing selector um, for the holiday catalog, which they don't call that anymore. They call it, this is Pretty Peacock. I love that color too. Um, is, um, I'm already having to select between now and June 30th. Oh, no. Okay, Donna. Oh, my word. You be careful. You be careful. Oh, my word. This is getting nuts. Oh, I forgot to do something. I'm chatting away and not paying attention. Donna, let us know tomorrow that you're okay, please. <laughs> All right. So... Actually, I strategically placed this on this one where there was sort of a spot between the succulents. So I should have been paying more attention. I guess we'll just put it here. It's a similar spot. Um, so let me wrap this. I just wrapped it a few times. Actually, I was watching another demonstrator from actually from New Zealand or somewhere. And she wrapped it around the largest part a couple times of her hand. And then she had trouble getting it off her hand. <laughs> and I probably will too. Okay. These are my snips, which are my ribbon scissors. And then we pull it off and squish it together. And then what she did is, which was pretty wise, she actually stuck it on with... Um, uh, what do you call them? Dimensionals. But what I'll do is I'll use a glue dot in between here on either side. The last time I put glue dots down on here, but I think this might actually work better. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay. Yep, that works perfectly. So that's how you should do it. Glue dots and dimensionals. I think that's straight. <laughs> There's a card number, whatever that was, four. You've about worn it out. Uh, I 
But what's this time wise tomorrow? I missed something. Same here, what, Nix? I'm sorry, I'm missing something. Okay, Donna, will you just um, let us know? Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Ah, pearls, gold pearls. These are the metallic pearls. They come in gold and silver in the same pack. So we'll just put a couple of these on. These are a carryover. They've been in the catalog. And we're just going to put three. Let's see, where do I want it up here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think right there. <laughs> Just three. Just had to bling it up a little bit on that white. Okay. So that's card four. Card five, I can't show you yet because it's in my head. There it is. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to use the other side of the paper, right? And... I also had these things I had stamped and I didn't use them. So I wanted to use them. And part of the suite has these rings. Now these are already on back order. So if you're ordering this tomorrow, you're not going to be able to use the one number suite because the ribbon duo and this are on back order, but the stamp set and dies right now are not. They're available, as is the designer paper and the gold foil. So those are available. So here's the thing. A two-inch circle punch fits right inside that gold circle. There's a little room extra. And then I'm going to... I was playing around with... Wrapping this, I tied it onto here, and then I was trying to tie a bow. But what I'm going to do is just tie a bow and put it, like, put a glue dot and put it on there. I'm not going to wrap it around. Um, there's a sample in the catalog. They actually made a dream catcher with these, which I thought was really cool. Because when I first saw these, I immediately thought jewelry. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Marsha. Oh, okay, next. I get it now. Thank you, Donna. And thank you, Paige. Um, and thank you, Judy. <laughs> so this one is done in Pretty Peacock. I'm not sure if that's full strength. I think it's stamped off. And this one is done in Shaded Spruce, which is, this is Pretty Peacock. And this has like all, almost all the colors except soft, soft sea foam in it. Now I thought I had three of these, but I guess I just have two. So what we're going to do is glue that down and then we're going to put this circle. We're going to put them up a little higher and we're going to stamp on the circle and then glue it down and then put this around it. I might even bump that up actually that circle. And then we're going to attempt to tie a bow and because it's pretty peacock on one side and old olive on the other. In fact, let's just try and do it now. Um, and just stick a bow on there. Pretty easy, but something different. Uh, not good. Not good. Oops. Not good. <laughs> Start over. Okay. And I have I have about 16 inches of ribbon here. You probably don't need that much, but I was. I took off extra because I was trying to um, tie it onto the ring, you know, and I have it like half and half here, but I guess it doesn't matter. I'm trying to make it tight, tighter. And that's going to go down here. I kind of want these to go out and this to go up. And I may snip off some of those tails so I can get that effect. So what do you think? Think it'll be all right? That's fine. You order whenever you can or can't, you know. Um, I think we already talked about that, Jen, as far as 
maybe not even in June, and that's okay. I think you're at your uh, quota already. So don't. I will just say, do not go into debt. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's really hard to glue that down, but um, I want to use this side. I don't have more. You know, you get two 12 by 12s of each of these beautiful papers, and they're double-sided, so you can um, feel free to use either side. So if you guys missed it, watch the um, video that went up this morning, which was the sheet load of cards. I used the Ornate Garden Suite for that one. I think I'm going to snip these stems just a little bit because I want these up a little bit high and I don't want the stems to stick out, actually. And again, I'm using two colors and I kind of want them to go out like that. All right. These have a little bit more area to be able to glue them. <laughs> Thank you, Paige. Thank you, everybody. And thank you for the thumbs ups. I really do appreciate it. Helps my channel get recognized, you know, up there in whatever their algorithms are. That one I didn't get over far enough, probably. There. All right, now let's stamp. We're using that same stamp an awful lot, but we'll use hello on the very last card. What time is it? Oh, I think we'll actually make it. I'm going to use Pretty Peacock again because I love that color. I'm so sad that some of those things went away, including the Peacock stamp set. But, oh, well, there's lots of pretty things to replace it, that's for sure. That one, however, is one that right now I'm not willing to give up. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. Okay, I'm going to put that up here. Now, I am going to pop this up on dimensionals, I think. And then this will go, it'll actually be sort of behind it a little bit. So, let's do that. You could probably even, if you wanted to, put a solid card stock with a two and a quarter inch punch behind it. But I don't want to, want to do that right now. So... And I have one more card idea. I didn't finish formulating the idea after this one. Now, I think I have to use glue dots to tack this down. So hopefully it will work. I don't know. I haven't tried it. It's sort of, um, I don't know if you can tell, it's sort of square. -ish. It's like a square wire is what we call it in jewelry. And I'm going to, I guess I'm going to roll it and hope it works. I'll put a couple of these on. Just roll them. You can use your, one of your tools or something. I'll put three or four on. That way the glue hopefully won't show too much. Um, once I turn it over. Now, if I was making jewelry, this would be like E6000 or something like that to make sure it held. But since it's going on a card, I'm not going to worry about it that much. Yep. Okay. I'd rather have them into the center showing a little bit than sticking out the edge. Okay. Now, let's just see. We can drop that in place, sort of centered. There. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, our bow that I didn't do very, very good at. Yeah, I'm not, still not happy with that. Oh, good. Yeah, that's a fun collab. I like doing that collab. I like seeing how different everybody's cards are, even though we're using the same sketch, basically. 
Plus, I get to use some of my Stampin' Up! stuff, you know. And non-Stampin' Up! if I choose to. But I like to use Stampin' Up! for that one. I don't know why. I'm not liking how this is going. All right. Bunny ears. Bunny ears. I want the peacock to show on the outside the most. If I can get it to do that. It's a little slippery because the old olive side is kind of shiny. And slippery. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Maybe. It's too big though. Eh, it's looping on me. There we go. All right. Well, hmm. Maybe this wasn't the best choice for this bow because it's not staying. Uh, I have to shrink them down a little bit. I'm not liking that. Let me see what else I have. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to use the gold. And that is the same. All right, we'll just cut it down and stick it on. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I'm just angling the edges a little bit. That one's still too big. And we'll use a glue dot or two or five and stick that on like that. Okay. That's how we're going. Hi, Linda. Wow. Welcome. I'm having a little difficulty with a bow right now, but other than that, we're doing pretty good tonight. <laughs> we're on card number five, I believe. And this one, I didn't have a pre-made one to follow. I just had this idea going. All right, what I'm going to do, I did this once before, is just take one of these glue dots. And I'm going to tuck it under this part here to hold that in place better. Okay, now, if you have the Noble Peacock rhinestones... Feel free to use them, and I do, but I won't because I can't sell them to you anymore because they're retiring after tonight. So I'm going to use Dark Pretty Peacock, Stampin' Blend, and Color Some because I don't want this silvery look on my card. I want it to look um, pretty peacock. I wish they wouldn't have retired those, actually. <laughs> okay. I think. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, we we're gonna have we had rain for a few days. We've just finally had like a three day cooler like 60s to, to low 70s and perfect day for yard work and stuff, which is what I've been trying to do. Um, yeah, let's see. Where do I want this? Right here. And then maybe one down here, right there. And then for the inside of this card, I just cut um, a strip of, off it probably was on this side actually right here somewhere and we're just going to glue that on to a piece of whisper white which i'm going to turn it around and i forget this is a little smaller than i usually do i think maybe not five by three and three quarter yep so that's what we're going to do on the inside and then we'll be done with this one. And then I have one more idea, which I think we'll have time for, maybe. We might not do an inside for it on air, because I don't think I got that far. <laughs> but we'll see. We shall see. This paper is so pretty and so diverse. You can use it in so many ways. 
I really do like how that came out with the um, bumping up that circle and then putting the ring around it like that. Ah, so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Warm weather. Yeah, you guys are down. So it was 40 yesterday morning. Wow. Hmm. I think we did have some like 49 or something, but not not. But I'm okay with that at night because I sleep better when it's cool. Funny thing is then when it goes up above 73, it gets hot in my house and stuffy and I have to turn the air on. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay, so there is our card. Our card number five. What do you think? I like it. Except I have to cut this a little shorter. There. I like that better. Cool. I like it. All right, one more card idea. Not formulated very well in my head or on paper, but started at least. So I had another card base. That's where this came about. So this is Shaded Spruce, which is another favorite color in the greens of mine. And this looks to be maybe Pear Pizzazz and Shaded Spruce. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. And that's cut to um, five and a quarter by four. This was a scrap I had left over from that other piece. And I thought I'd put that on here. I might have to trim it just a tad. And then what I thought I'd do is layer this on top here. But I want to stamp on this. And that's as far as I got. So let's figure out what we're going to stamp on that. And we might have to put like a circle of sediment or something in the middle or some other punch uh, with a sediment on. Oh, that's where I was going to use the hello. Where's my little hello? Because this stamp, this set does have a... I lost my hello. <laughs> there it is. The cards were on top of it. All right. We use hello. Um, and maybe we'll just put a little strip with a hello on it instead of a circle. And bump that up in the middle with a piece of shaded spruce or something behind it. I think that sounds like a plan. So let's stamp this with flowers and leaves or ferns and leaves or whatever. Um, and a little this thing. So we need shaded spruce and pretty sure pear pizzazz or maybe that's soft sea foam again. So we'll bring that out too. Yeah. There's three colors. I think that's what we'll do. <laughs> oh, thank you, Marsha. That makes me feel good. Thank you. I appreciate that. <sighs> you guys are the best. I couldn't ask to have better YouTube friends and stamping up friends and stuff. Okay, I need my scrap paper again. I could just use the um, graph paper, but it's relatively clean and I just don't want to dirty it right this second. <laughs> All right, let me think how I want to do this. I think I'm going to put this big one on in Shaded Spruce. Full strength. Oops. Maybe that one. Okay. That should do it for that. And then we'll use... Um, I think we'll do this one in soft sea foam, actually. Uh-oh. I got a bloopy, blobby thing on there. 
and turn that one stem wise in and maybe up here too down a little bit okay that's that for that one and then this little dotty thing we'll do in pear pizzazz but i have lines on that again hang on guys clean that off don't press too hard hmm. we'll see i'm not going to worry about going over the other ones i don't really care it won't matter actually i need another stamp in the middle there When I first saw this dot thing, and I still may do this on another card sometime, I was thinking dirt, like crumb cake or whatever, you know. All right, I need another uh, light color right in here. It's going to be covered up anyway, probably. Oops. I just contaminated my soft sea foam. Okay, there we go. Could have used a little more dark in here, huh? Just one more little dark right there. Yeah, and that part will be probably covered up in the middle. All right, let me see. Two hours away. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, these are the uh, Forever Fern. They're distinctive stamps. Uh, I really like them both. I mean, all. <laughs> I like distinctive stamps, though. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And then, oops, and then I just stuck my finger in it. Ew. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to think we're almost done with these except for the garden green. So let's see before I put everything away how that actually looks on the card. Oh, I think that's going to be pretty. And then we'll put a sentiment right in the middle like i said with garden green we'll have a little oh look at that that fits right across there huh i couldn't have planned that any better right i was gonna originally put um i may still i may have to cut a piece of shaded spruce to go right behind that maybe we'll see let's stamp this little hello is gonna drown on that big strip now Maybe I need a thinner strip. Hang on. This is a little thinner. Oh, yeah, let's use that. But now I don't know where the center is. Right there. <laughs> Best way to do that is put it on the right side. Make sure it's straight, hold it tight, then cut. <laughs> okay, now we're going to stamp hello, hopefully, in the center. Nope. <laughs> wow, that got um, a line on it, too. Hang on. I must have a really heavy hand or something. Yeah, that looks better. Ah, okay, new strip. The last card, what can I say? Um, do you guys have like a container of like strips of white paper like I do? Ever since I watched Jennifer McGuire and she said, save all those because... She um, uses them to glue them together to add dimension. And I have never tried that yet. I need to do that sometime. So, you know, like you'd have, I could do that. 
instead of using dimensionals, you just bump them up. Nah, not tonight. <laughs> Let's see if we can get hello stamped on here well and straight. I don't know why that O wasn't coming through. All right, it has ink on it, so it has to be Deb, Deb issue. Oh, I got this circle thingy again. I'm getting frustrated, guys. I might switch to a different sentiment. Yeah. Switching to a different sentiment. I don't know which one. Maybe. Oh, maybe this one. You can do this. <laughs> That's pretty appropriate for me right now. You can do this. When I don't think it's not going so good. All right, we'll switch back to the big piece. <laughs> oh, thanks, Philomena. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can do this, Deb. You can do this. Hopefully. Yeah, look at that. I can do this. I just needed to tell myself that. And not with that hello for some reason. Didn't like me tonight. Okay. Let's start to assemble this and figure out. I need like ribbon or something under there. Is that too busy? Hmm. Hmm. Where's my shaded spruce? I lost my shaded spruce. Here it is. Let's see if I have a scrap. Not really. Well, hmm. I do, but they're too little. Okay, never mind. Um, 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 um. And that ribbon won't work. And that won't work. All right, we won't use ribbon. We'll maybe just bump that up and put um, some bling bling on. All right, that's all we're going to do. So let's glue these down first. I could put some of that gold thread under it again, I guess. Then I have gold on everything. <laughs> You toss what? Oh, you toss the strips. Uh, I don't know if I could sell cards. I've tried before and they don't. Um, let's just put it this way. They don't sell for enough to get my money back. <laughs> So I'd rather mail them out, which I'm going to start doing again here soon, real soon. I think Friday is my post office day. Just going to do it. I actually had to go to Home Depot yesterday, which is five minutes from my house. All right. Now, the thing is, do I want to bump that whole thing up or just this? kind of thinking maybe this whole thing yes I think I'm going to bump the I'm going to glue this down and, but hang on mm. I'm not going to put gold thread on it because I want to use shaded spruce um, holiday rhinestones which did carry over so we're just going to put this across the middle and then we're going to bump this whole thing up on dimensional which, if I had adhesive foam, I would do that. I lost my dimensionals. Too much more. Here they are. <laughs> this is going to take a ton of dimensionals. Well, nine probably. Yep. Some people wouldn't even put any in the middle, but I have to. Just that's how I am. That's how I am. Use your stamping marker. T 
to oh to outline it you mean yeah i could have done that oops i do that a lot but i didn't oh you mean to put speckles on i did that on a different card uh card number i don't know three or something this is card number six but this one i didn't have pre-made ahead of time Okay, so that's that. And then I do have this open pack of holiday rhinestones, and it happens to have some shaded spruce. I'm only going to use three of the four. So, actually, maybe we'll just put them right down the side here. But that's, I'm going to use the fourth one. Gosh, uh, it'll be an odd number. I mean, an even number. And I don't like that, but that looks all right. And there is card number six. <laughs> well, that was exciting. I hope you enjoyed that. Use the big piece and cut it down. There you go. Yeah, oh, good, Marsha. Yeah, I, I watched Jennifer McGuire, like I said, uh, say to do that, and I just haven't done it. But I think that looks all right. I'm not, I'll am not. i do the inside later because I don't know what I want to do. I'll probably do some stamping again. So this is card five. And this is card four. And this is card one and two and three. I'll put the one that we did together on top because I like that one better than the pear pizzazz. So there we have it, guys. So if you are interested in this, be sure to watch the... Um, 10 a.m. live tomorrow morning Eastern time because I'm doing the catalog walkthrough kickoff party and um, I will have Judy Evans Parker's host code to use from June 3rd to June 30th for any orders under 150 or unless you don't want the rewards. Remember that for uh, orders or parties 250 and above, there's an extra $25 in rewards. Or if you'd like to join my team, there's a special on in June, starting tomorrow, only through the 30th of June, where new demonstrators can get an extra, um, a bundle of their choice, as in stamp and punch or stamp and die, um, in addition to their $125 worth of product for $99. Hi, Mary. Thank you. Oh, well, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell, make it solid, and that way it will send you notifications, hopefully, that I'm going live. Also, you guys, I've been posting in community. Do you guys get notification of that? Because I try to post earlier in the day in community here on YouTube uh, to let you know I'm going live. You did get a notice of that? Okay, good. Because I wasn't sure. I think I only had one person thumbs up it. So I wasn't sure if people were actually seeing it or not. Um, but I also do put it on my Facebook group. And on my Facebook page. Um, for the business. That says when I'm going to do lives or whatever. Um, and these cards will be out on my blog. Probably very late tomorrow. Because I have three things going on tomorrow <laughs> my early morning walk with my daughter the live which i expect will be like 10 to 12 and then also um i have a facetime call with my mother tomorrow afternoon so but i'll spend the rest of tomorrow afternoon taking pictures and getting these out on my blog so i'll have the dimensions there and i will also have judy's host code on my blog I'll announce it in the live tomorrow. I'll have it below my videos. I'll put it in my Facebook groups and page. It'll be up in the upper right corner of my blog. 
as soon as I get it tomorrow. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. I think I've said everything I needed to say tonight. Um, don't forget to like if you like this tonight. I'm going Friday, Clay. I'm going to the post office Friday, so I am comfortable. I just have to wear a mask and wash when I come home and wipe everything down when I come home if I get any extra packaging or anything. So I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm nervous because I try not to go out too much, but I really need to go to the post office. I'll probably go Friday and I actually will have to go again late next week because I have to get Grace's thank yous out. And Grace, I don't know if she's still in the hospital, but she's not doing well. And um, so I don't know when she'll be able to do her prize drawings, but I'll get my thank yous out as soon as her order comes in to me because there's some little bling and stuff in it that I want to be able to put in those uh, thank yous. Use the ones. What do you mean? Phones? I'm confused, Linda. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Oh, to ink the hello. Okay. Hmm. I'll keep working with it. I don't know. I'm I must you know what? It could be this little block. I don't really care for this little block. I like the maybe if I put it on one of these, I'll I'll get it better. I'll play around with it and see. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Linda. I am going to let you go because it's now two hours and one minute. So good time to end. Thank you, Donna. Uh, this is, again, the Forever Greenery Suite. This one brings in the In Good Taste designer series paper, the wood grain and gold foil. And the gold foil uh, forever greenery gold elements. And the rings. And only the gold of the ribbon. I didn't, I haven't used this uh, gauzy ribbon that comes in the duo pack yet. But it's really soft. It would, it would look really good with this paper actually. I didn't think of that. Hmm. See, wouldn't that be pretty with that? Ooh, that's another card in the making. <laughs> Um, and I will announce a class pretty soon, probably maybe over the weekend. I had hoped to have it ready, but I didn't get it ready yet. Your fave is five. One, two, three, four. This one with the ring. Thank you, Clay. That's fine. It's You already have your catalog, so I'm really going to walk through the catalog, maybe just give a couple tips. And a couple quick prizes here and there, small prizes. No notifications even when I post a video? That is so bizarre. Do you have your bell filled in solid <laughs> for my channel? Huh. Wow. That's really scary. Well, I'm glad I'm telling everybody on Facebook and everything then because... Yeah, the no notifications is bothersome. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Paige, about the outdid myself. I just saw that. All right, everyone. I find it's that thin block. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it maybe I'm wobbling it too much or something. So I think I'm going to put it on one of like a, um, what size is this? A B block. I think it'll be better then too. I, I rarely use that, but I was out of my B block, so um, I decided to try it. It didn't didn't go well. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope it goes well, Judy. Mine is at two with my mom. With my mom. And um, I think I have a conference about mom on the 9th of June, so... Half an hour. Okay, well, here's the thing, too. When I'm on my computer, I can't 
um, I set it up for the live an hour before I go live because I need room on my desk to create up until that time. And if my laptop's sitting here where it has to be to do these videos, um, plugged into my camera up here, I can't, I don't have enough room to spread out to create. So I only bring it up at like 6 p.m. And then I start getting my paperwork together for the stuff I have to tell you guys. So that's when I think it sends out a notification for you to that I'm going to be going live as far as the video setup. But the community tab, I did that early this morning. Thank you, Marsha. Yeah, I will be, Jen. I'm not in a city um, but that doesn't mean there won't be something happening here. So far, it's been okay. Oh, your Walmarts are all closed down? Wow. Oh, man. Philadelphia, I know, was bad. I heard they, uh, my neighbor's mother lives in Philadelphia, and her husband tried to go into the city to bring her out here because we're like 40 miles 40 minutes, 30 some miles west of the city. Anyway, he couldn't get in. He, all the roads were blocked. He couldn't get into the city. So, and it's good he didn't get in, I guess, because there were buildings being put on fire and cars being put on fire and stores being looted and business, other businesses being looted and um, scary stuff. I mean, to set buildings on fire. Honestly, that's not gonna that's not gonna take care of anything. That's just my thought. I, I don't agree with what happened to that individual, but I definitely don't agree with the rioting the way it's happening. Use the bones of the pad and okay, okay. I think I know what you mean there. <laughs> uh, the edges. Yep. Good night, everybody. I'm going to get off of here to go have my quiche maybe and crash. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and chatting with me. And let's see if my computer will actually type now. I don't know. Well, it's not going to say good night. So I'm just going to end. Oh, there it goes. Uh, very delayed. I think I'm still just going to end. Yeah, because it's not typing. Good night, Marsha. Good night, everybody. And you're welcome for the inspiration. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. And um, beautiful sweet. Add it to your list if it's not on there. <laughs> I And there's a couple papers I didn't use from it. So, yeah. Future. <laughs> oh, okay. Good to know, Linda. Thank you. And which block is this? This is D, uh, G, G block. Yeah, not crazy about it either. All righty. Take care. Have a good evening, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, hopefully. Oh, if it'll let me end. Here we go again. My computer's been acting weird lately. Okay, there we go. Bye.